Hey, hello guys, welcome back to Let Code once again after a long time. So today in this video, we are going to see all the uh, changes that happened in version 3.0.5 in Autony report. So as you know, already Autony report is a great report, uh, HTML report that is specifically designed for playwright, playwright test runner. So let's go with the change log first. Um, so you can see the documentation from here. So we have a uh, two versions these are bug fixes after the release the major version is this 3.0.3 uh, but of course you have to use the uh, it should be 3.0.5 actually yeah so we have a added copy button next to the test spec file line number uh, for quick sharing and navigation and we have uh, enable support to open markdown files so these are the two uh, new changes i will show you in a moment so before that i like to highlight few things so here we have a request to add a feature for copy prompt so play if you are using latest version of playwright like uh, let's say 1.53 or 5.2 so we have this new feature called copy prompt so whenever there is an error in your code you can just copy the prompt it will give you like all the definitions of what went wrong how went wrong and the source code the error message everything in detail you can just give it that to your ai and probably you will get the solution right so i have added that and another one is there is a uh, bug fix actually so here you can see like um, um where is this yeah so there is some uh, issue in the uh, access of the autony i mean the uh, analytics page so where we have uh, some data missing in the x-axis the dates are basically missing so uh, um, this guy I don't know what's his name Bavik yeah so Bavik has basically suggested the um, I mean solution actually so he gave me the solution like I have to change this which is really great so uh, shout out to uh, Bavik so whatever he suggested based on that I, I did the changes and seems like it's working you now fine now okay so let's go and see the latest update so already i have executed and i have kept the uh, let me delete this file this is not required now yeah so we have a file called index.html of course you can change the file name folder name everything in the autony uh, config right so here you can select this is the file name this is the logo this logo can be your project logo i'm using let code logo but of course if this is your project uh, logo and you can give the title of the page if you want to show the projects you can make it like true or else by default it will be false and you can give the project name test type and all the other and this is also new actually meta you can pass your meta informations okay now how do i open the already generated report is very simple you have to say npx then followed by autony dash report and then followed by show dash report it is same as uh, your uh, playwright uh, uh, okay so since the autony report file is not there it's giving us error so basically we have to pass the flag as dash f and here i have to pass like index.html that means that's the file name okay so here you can select this our uh, meta information i believe i have covered this already but yeah still you can add any details any custom variables to your report and then if you go to the analytics space so here we were missing some date dates based on some time zone actually so it was working for ist but for other time zone it was issue i guess so that's the new fix and then if you go to the test and if you go to any of the failed test so uh, the ai will generate only for failed test that is how the default player at report also works so i have implemented the same so uh, already we know that we have screenshot option we have the uh, video option we have the history which is very unique compared to any other um reporter and then of course the trace viewer so if you take allure report also the trace viewer is not directly enabled whereas in autony it is directly enabled and if you click on this open markdown so it's basically give you the highlights like uh, uh, instruction you have following playwright test failed explain why be concise uh, respect playwright best practices provide a snippet of code with a fix if possible and then we have error details so this is the instruction basically we are giving to the ai and then we have error detail the timeout is this and this is the lines of code affected and this is the particular line where the error occurs and you will also get the page snapshot page snapshot is basically like the 
flow of your execution like we'll go to the uh, main navigation there's a link called it code and there's an image there's a workspace so all this thing like whatever there in your steps you will see that as a page now, snapshot so you can just click to copy and then you can go to your any of the ai and you can paste it for example let me paste in my notes and show you so if you paste it like here or you can see like whatever we saw there it will be there okay it is very similar to your playwright uh, reporter but in a different way so they have like here itself they will give copy where i have created this as in separate separate tab so that uh, there will be some memory space optimization okay and uh, anything else yeah that's it so of course you know you can toggle the team and of course you can filter test by the status by the projects and a lot of options are there so probably you can go and check it out and this is also one new things so, like you can now copy the spec name so if you go to your editor command or control p just paste the spec name it will open that particular file with particular line number okay so yeah that's it for this uh, video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments and um, please go through the document once a lot of people are asking same questions um, i think you should read the documentation first if something is missing properly you can ask me that will really help both of us okay so that's it for my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon